One of the questions has come in from Alec Ireland, which is about the future of oil and gas revenues and how the finances of an independent Scotland would be affected by those revenues. I think it's important to get this in its proper context. The estimates from the Northern gas industry is that there's up to 24 billion barrels of oil that have yet to be extracted from the North Sea oil and gas sector. And that's a fantastic resource that can support the development of the Scottish economy in the years to come. We've seen many predictions from the Unionist parties that oil would run out even before now actually. And we've got very definite estimates about the long-term future of oil lasting um, well into the latter part of this century. Now what we've got to do as a country is realise that we have to broaden our economic base into the bargain and what I want to make sure, what the SNP government has started laying the foundations for, is that we can de develop our strength in a whole variety of other sectors, in energy and the renewable sector, which is a fabulous opportunity for Scotland given the strength of the natural environment that surrounds us. We've also got amazing expertise in the life sciences sector based on the strength of our medical schools at our universities and our hospitals around the country. And of course financial services has been an important part of the Scottish economy that can create new and developed opportunities. But what I'm also very keen to do is to make sure that an independent Scotland broadens its economic base by investing ever more strongly in research and development, in innovation and in creating a new age of manufacturing activity within Scotland. And you can only do that if you're able to operate a very competitive taxation regime, incentivising companies to invest in research and development, and we need the full powers of independence to enable us to do that.